Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. The time has come. Booger is finally prepared to challenge the Elite Four. And the champion. See, Booger has been training. We went and beat everybody we could find who wanted a rematch in our Pokenav context. And also trained on Victory Road a bunch. Look how strong everybody is now. It was mostly Victory Road training. Let's reflect on all these Pokémon that have become members of the team. It's Treevenge, formerly known as Seedestic. The Shiftry, which probably has the most conviction of any Pokémon on Booger's team. That's why it's sort of the leader and the strongest first Pokémon she got. Its dream is to carry out revenge against humanity, since a lumberjack fell to the tree that it fell from. It never got over that, and now it has issues. And Sinfin, the Sharpedo with no moral compass. It's jolly about that. And Helican, her bashful Pelipper, which functions as a seaplane and does so very well. It makes like 30 knots. Good mileage in the air too. Wactus. Her beloved Cacturn, whom she found in the desert as a Cacnea. A Cacnea with a deep hatred for all campers because one once hacked off one of its limbs and tried to smoke it. Like Treevenge, it has some issues because of that. And Bake Snake, Booger's quirky survivor with a taste for cooked meat, and also an appreciation for the psychoactive effects of smoking certain grass type Pokemon. It likes Roselia. Started carrying that lax incense around the same time it started smoking Roselia. Then there's Killchill, the newest member of the team. Just evolved in Victory Road, mind you. And it comes from the Shoal Cave, which is like the only cold place in Hoenn. So its goal is to make, make more cold places. So more ice Pokemon can have places to chill out in. So of course it has never melt ice, it's just all about ice. Pretty simple. And speaking of Kill Chill, we never looked at its Pokedex entry. Let's see what there is to learn about it. What has science gleaned about Glalie? Ugh. Pretend you didn't see a Pokemon next to cast form. We don't we don't speak of that, we don't look at it. Lady, the face Pokemon. 565 pounds? Wow. A Glalie has the power to instantaneously freeze moisture in the atmosphere. A dazzling cloud of diamond-like ice crystals forms around its body. Pretty. Isn't that just what you visualize when you think pretty? Oh, look how big it is. Quite big. It'd be frightening to encounter one of these in the mountains. In a blizzard. Well... We visited Lava Ridge, so we have plenty of supplies. We hit up that dispensary again. 
we wouldn't go anywhere else. They have this, they have this, sh this shop right here at the entrance. This is for all the poser trainers who have to keep challenging the Elite Four over and over, so there's probably a lot of price gouging going on here. We know what you're doing, dude. We didn't fall for it, we're already supplied. We're good. No more delay. Time to take on the Elite Four. No problem. We're good leaves fully. While we were training in Victory Road, I think we may have made Galbat go extinct. Galbat and Jubat. Or, let's say just they're endangered in that area. They're endangered because of Trevenge's extrasensory and Kilchil's ice beam. I remember this guy. From my Sapphire playthrough. I believe he likes dark types. Ogre also has three turret types. I think... I'm gonna start with Sinfin. It's fast. I can get a quick hit in. And bail it out if we need to. I don't remember what he might send in first. Just these four trainers stand in the way of... Revenge exacting its vengeance on all of Owen. These are the only four in the way. Let's help it. Let's help it achieve its dream. Let's help it unleash a reign of terror upon Owen. Pokemon. Welcome, challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, you and me mate. Let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. He's got a mighty Edda first. I'm okay with this matchup. We're evenly leveled. By chance. Let's just start with a waterfall. This would be really exciting. This is where tense, heart pounding battles are going to be found. And everything in Emerald thus far has been more challenging than Sapphire, so I'm looking forward to this. Oh, you have a Cacturn. Hmm. I just got an idea. What if my Cacturn used a missile? That would be, like, extremely effective. I wonder if his snow's pin missile. Let's try it. Wactus. Come on. Cacturn versus Cacturn. Your Cacturn doesn't do as good of a dance as mine. This rhythm is off. Pin missile it for its poor dancing. Look at that damage. Wow. That was the correct choice. So, I think I might keep Wattis in. Keep Wattis in. Its pin missile is good against dark tapes. Should I maybe leech eat it too? I might want to leech eat it to be safe. Let's do it. Absol, more like abseded, abseded. Heh. 
Booger is such a delinquent. Such a menace. Oh no. It knows Aerial Ace. Holy shit. Well, I'm glad we're faster than it. Jeez, that took me by surprise. I didn't know that thing could use Aerial Ace. Does it look like it, does that look like it can fly? I guess I see like two things that could be wings on it. I would like to see an absolute fly. Come on, Bartus. You clutch. Oh no. It wasn't clutch. It's done for. Disappointed to whack us. All you had to do is pin this lip more than twice. Senfin, can you clean up? Oh, it's got a berry. But you're seated. Ab seated, remember? Remember your new name? The legacy of Wactus shall undo you. Doesn't matter. Not afraid. Wow. Very nice critical hit. You gonna heal again? Didn't think so. have a shift tree. We share a taste in purple Pokemon. I should use Big Snake, probably. Let's let's do it. Give it the poison tail. Big Snake can use its tail or its fangs. Oh shit, not that move. Damn it. That's so irritating. I'll try one more and then if this misses I'm gonna switch. Okay. Okay. Really? Like, sir? What kind of person uses a move like double theme? You sacrificed a move slot just to evade. So boring. Need somebody who has a move that always hits. Treevenge. I'll have to use mine. I'll just have to outclass this one. I do like that. Not bad for a rock smash, eh? I'm lucky I hit it at all. What a pain in the ass. <sighs> now confusion. Well, I mean, he can't really do much to me, I'm guessing. Oh, two are meant. All right. This is kind of a... Seriously? I'll heal if I need to. You better not heal this shiftry. Don't drag this out any longer than it has to. This is a pathetic, boring stalemate. I'll eat. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Sydney, you son of a bitch. Are you enjoying this, Sydney? Is this fun for you? One more faint attack and I'm gonna switch out, probably. To some other Pokemon. Because that's getting annoying. What an annoying guy this Sydney is. Put it now, looking for now. I'm gonna have to heal back this. Need something else that can also faint attack. Yeah, I knew you would do that. Go ahead. I guess that's your only strategy. Does this shifter know a single move that does direct damage? Just brought the pace of the battle to a total halt. Great, same exact thing. I'm gonna switch again. This is the battle he wants to have, I guess. Uh, what an asshole. Used a double team too much, so now I basically have to use Faint Attack. Or Helican's Shockwave, but that wouldn't be very good. It would also be ineffective. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of that. And you do it again. Wait, so he was going to use Swagger when I was already confused? That wouldn't work. What the fuck? No. Stop doing that. What the fuck? Why is he only using Swagger? What the... What the fuck, Sydney? Sydney, you fucking asshole. Stop that. This is annoying. Switch again. Fuck you. Does he not know it? Is that all he's gonna do now? Just only swagger? Never anything else? Just only swagger now? Uh, is that your strategy? Your swagger Sydney who only s swaggers? If I get one pin missile, you son of a bitch. One pin missile, you're done for. Yeah, keep doing it. Keep doing it, because that's all you can do. That's all you know how to do. And then I miss. <sighs> well, I didn't really expect the battle to take this turn. This is like the weirdest Elite Four battle I've ever had already.
confused again. Cool. Cool. I can't believe that's all he's doing. You know, that's really unprofessional. This is like the sort of thing I would expect a 10 year old to do. Not a member of the Elite Four. You don't just use Swagger and nothing else. What do you mean? I didn't use Pin Missile. Good. Fuck off. What a poser, irritating shiftry. That one will that one will never rise to the same status as Trevenge. Krada, send it in. Wactus wants to wax something else. It's got a lot of a lot of things to work out right now. All those swaggers are coming back to haunt you right about now. There we go. I do like that. <gasps> Wactus is gonna learn how to make a sandstorm? It can control the weather now. We are going to have it learn Sandstorm. I'm actually going to get rid of the beloved Pin Missile because as useful and awesome as it's been in this fight, I think this might be like the last opponent it's really useful against. It's not really good against anything but Dark Types. And Ractus has Sand Veil as its ability. So this is going to unlock interesting possibilities for strategy. Well, how do you like that? I lost. Hey, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go far. Now go to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Okay. I wish I could have enjoyed this battle more, but someone had to... Someone had to use a, a shift tree and only... Only attack with swagger. Sydney. They, they only used swagger and they made the battle take way too long. He was being an asshole on purpose, doing that. Okay, Phoebe. Well, we didn't take too, too much damage. Uh, energy group. So, she has ghost types. Maybe you get to lead with Sinfin yet again. Cool with doing that. Okay. <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on the Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokémon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokémon is extremely tight. So come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokémon. Okay, Phoebe, we'll see. Pretty sure we will be able to, because 
We have direct tips. Dust collapse, eh? Dust collapse are crunchable. Protect. I can't respect a trainer who would use protect. Can't do it. And twice in a row. I can't believe this. You're a member of the Elite Four. Like, show some pride. What a cowardly move to resort to. Just because you're afraid of being crunched. Oh, really? Well, I'm... I'm just gonna erase that immediately. Because look what I have. Well, actually... Um... Did I full heal somewhere? Did I use those up? Must have. Just heal powder. Good. A B N A. I think Sinfin's good. Look at that. A critical crunch. Sinfin likes crunching. Ghosts. Sableye. I think I will change for Sableye. Big Snake. I call on you. Poison Fang. You can get a totally different kind of poisoning from Big Snake, whether, uh, you know, depending on if it attacks you with its fangs or its tail. The fangs have a more lethal poison that badly poisons. Well, the tail is just normal poison, but the tail has more of a critical hit chance. I like to think when it does a critical hit, that's when the tail is just like impaling the opponent. Because it's like a sword, it's like a poisoned blade. Damn, that did more damage than I wanted. Go ahead. Go ahead and eat an energy root, big snake. Pretty much all we have for healing. Come on, Poison Tail, get a critical hit. Damn it. Oh, not this again. Alright then. Enough playing around. You get revenge. So, I should mention, I taught Trevenge Giga Drain, finally replacing Bullet Seed, and also used the PP Max on the Giga Drain. The PP Max we found in a, a Magma Hideout. 
That map Jimmy, I think. Bullet Seed was okay until now. It was useful against weak foes, but these are the strongest warriors in all of Hoenn we're facing. So we need a better grass type move. Basically, even when Bullet Seed hits five times, it still will do less damage than a Giga Drain. Unless some of the hits get critical hits of the Bullet Seed. So it was worth finally teaching it Giga Drain. A Dusclops. Could try Sinfin again. Let's do that. Being a little low on crunches, but that's okay. Earthquake? That's a surprise. Kinda glad I didn't send Big Snake in. Crunch again. Damn. We survived though. I guess I should just crunch again. Very nice. Another bayonet. Maybe I should let Sinfin just get that last crunch out. Let's do it. Let's just use the last crunch. Go for it, Sinfin. See what happens. Oh, we're out of PP. Well, why did I think I had another one? Oh well. We'll take care of you after the battle, Sinvin. Just sacrifice yourself. See if Trevenge can finish it. Very nice. Level fifty five. Look how strong it's getting. Oh darn, I've gotten in last. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next room. We'll do that, Phoebe. Okay. Let's go ahead and take care of Sinfin. Two down, half the Elite Four down. Also, let's use this to get some more crunches. Everybody else good? Uh, Tree Venge and Big Stink could use healing. I think I know which Elite Four member is next. If I recall from Sapphire.
Let's see. Oh yes. Okay. As the icy aesthetics in this room show, this person likes ice. The ice tape. As do I. I have a nice tape. Who do I want to send out? She might have a water ice type, like Celio. A grass type would be kind of a double-edged sword against one of them. I could try Wactus's new sandstorm strategy, though. That would be fun. Maybe I will. Let's try it. It'll become very hard to hit in a sandstorm. Oh boy. I'm just assuming she sends out the Castilio first. Wactus will be okay against Castilio. If she has like a Glalie, less so. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I have traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokémon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. Wow. I'm afraid. Wait, there's reddening. She did have a Celio. All right. Grew up a Saiyan storm, whacked us. What? Does that cancel the sandstorm? Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. Watch this. You want to have a weather controlling battle? Oh shit. Just go ahead and need alarm it. For its insolence. To cover up your sandstorm with a hailstorm. How dare it. That's right, missed, because of the sandstorm, sand veil. And the sandstorm probably kills it here? Yes! Be destroyed by the brutal sandstorm. <laughs> the sandstorm is what killed it. Consider that. The sandstorm, the sandstorm killed that Celio. We can take another one. Need alarm. Ha! Huh. Good luck. Good luck hitting a sand veiled Wactus with a blizzard in a sandstorm, you know. Could you imagine trying to cause a blizzard to hit something in a sandstorm? It's already you know, that's got sand veil. Yeah, go ahead and use that. This is working very well, and I'm quite pleased. Very nice. I need to learn. Bye bye. Next. Critical. That needle arm just totally brutalized that Celio. Oh, the wall rain. 
bring it in. Practice is on a roll. Sandstorm subsided. Leech seed. We're evenly leveled. Oh no. Have I been too confident? I was too confident. Shit. I did get leech seeded though. Revenge. The battle between two titans. Hmm. I don't need to giga drain right away. Rock smash first. Uh oh. How much of that do? Ow. Okay, time to Giga Drain. Let's see what that does. Come on, Revenge. Take revenge for that brutal ice beam. Ah, not enough. Damn. Okay. Is she gonna heal that thing? Tell me she doesn't heal it. Sinfin. Oh, it healed itself. But it's seated still. This should be easy, unless she heals. Good. That was probably your strongest Pokemon. And now comes the Glalie. What do I want to do? Probably melt it. This is what Big Snake's Flamethrower is for. She might even have two Glalie. Because, like, there aren't any other ice types to choose in Hoenn. Like, we've already seen basically all of them on her team. So the next one has to be a repeat. Go ahead and make it hail. We're not afraid. Keep burning it. Explosion? Seriously? You were so frightened of Bake Snake that you had to commit suicide. You you turned your Glavy into a suicide bomber. I hope you're happy with yourself, Glacia. Send it in. Called it. Another Glalie. She's taken quite a lot of my Pokemon down. Look at this. Three down. At least this one's lower level. Crunch on that glaily like a popsicle. Or an ice cream sandwich. Water would actually be okay against this thing, wouldn't it? Try that. Uh, might want to use strength then. A 
shouldn't be very effective, I don't think. Okay. Sinfin is slowed down right now, and I don't like that. So go ahead and heal it. Or... I could send Bake Snake in to finish it. Wait, Big Snake's dead. Never mind. All you, Sinfin. Okay. That's fine. Dang it. Alright, I'm gonna let Sinfin die, actually, probably. Who would I send in then? I could send someone in. Let's heal Big Snake though, just to be safe. And have something that I can burn it with. I'll give you a revival herb after the battle, Sinfin. Don't critical. Don't critical. Good. Now be melted. And do a little puddle. Good. That quivy is now a little puddle. A little puddle around the stone that comprises its core. You and your Pokemon. How hot your spirits burn. The all-consuming heat overwhelms. It's no surprise that my icy skills failed to harm you. Advance to the next room, and there can find the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. I mean, you were fearsome enough. But I have lots of revival herb. I start up at that dispensary in Lava Ridge. Big Snake was happy about it. It's like a candy shop for Big Snakes to go in there. We've gotten in trouble for. Big Snake trying to smoke people's grass-type Pokemon that are just... You know, it's not a battle, and someone will just walk by with a bloom and it'll, it'll just try to light it up and inhale the fumes. It's a problem, but it's quirky. It's quirky, you know? It does quirky things like that. I know who's next. Gonna be a guy who uses dragons. And against dragons, there's only one answer. And that is ace. I haven't used Telekin much yet, but it has ice moves too. I wonder if I should actually start with Telekin. Maybe I should. Let it try ice beaming or something. I just taught it that move. Okay, here he is. Drake, I believe it is.
Bring it on, Drake. I am the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four, Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. I think Booger knows, Drake. Booger knows that your dragon types curl up into the fetal position and die in response to cold. Oh, for fuck's sake. Second member of the Elite Four who uses that move. Are you kidding? Is this the best you have, Owen? Couldn't they have found someone? Like, four people who don't use Protect? It's not a high standard. Just find four people who don't use Protect. Holy shit. Well, Helican did take care of that Shogun, but he's sending in a Salamence. Have to take it seriously. Go kill Joe. Please kill it. I hope it doesn't know like like a fire move. Ice beam, please. Oh no, it does. It knows flamethrower. Oh. Well, how do you like a taste of ice beam? Take that. Kyoto killed your salamence with a chill. Fly gun. I wonder if I'm faster than it. Probably not. Fly gun is pretty fast. Helican. Pelican, ace beam this insolent flygon. Oh no. At least it didn't paralyze us. Wow. Pelican, you're so strong. That was amazing. Oh. Yeah, send in your bird. My water bird wants to freeze your little Alteria out of the sky. Nice. I think we can risk another one. Excellent. That's it. Maybe we'll even freeze it if we keep getting free ice beams. Helican is the superior bird. Yes! Critical ice beam. That ice beam just like impaled the Alteria, just went straight through it. Like an icicle. Level 50. Teaching Helican that move was a good, good idea. It's got good special attack. But now it's a Kingdra. Didn't want to have a Kingdra. This is more challenging because they have no weaknesses. Literally no weaknesses. Hmm. I think. I think I might send in Wactus. Maybe? It'd be nice to paralyze it. Let's see if Bakesnake can paralyze it. Clear it. 
give that Kingdra a, a wicked glare. Oh, surf. That's heavy damage. And I missed. Damn it. Switch. Practice. Go ahead and use surf again. What? What? Did you know we were switching? He cheated. Excellent. And now, create a sandstorm. Oh, you're using Dragon Dance? Wactus doesn't care. Wactus is going to be chilling over here hiding in a sandstorm. Even they leveled. I like how this battle is set up. Wactus gets to hide in a sandstorm while the Kingdra gets reached by the seed. A little worried about the dragon dances stacking too much though. If it uses body slam, that's gonna really hurt. Hopefully we can finish it relatively soon. All that shift damage, look at that. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna heal? That's right, Glacia. Go ahead and heal. Meanwhile, Wactus gets another turn of sapping your Kingdra. Actually, this isn't Glacia. This is Drake now. I know where I am. Booger knows. Give it a faint attack. More dragon dancing? Are you ever going to attack? She better hurry up. She's gonna run out of time. This could do it in right here, potentially. Sandstorm? Beach seed? Not quite. You gonna heal again? Oh, she fucking did the body slam. And it hit. Oh! Wactus survived. Yes, Wactus. Teach that Kingdra who's boss. Wactus was imagining it was a camper in that moment. Superb, it should be said. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go, go onwards, the champion is waiting. I think Drake probably, like, has a side job where he does a children's show. Children's TV show. I get that sense. Just, just call it a feeling. But look at the little lights. We get little stage lights. Little showtime lights as we go up to the final challenge. Let's see our Pokemon. Maybe use a bunch of these energy, energy powders up. Wow, 
Well, we made it through the Elite Four without too much trouble. Some some of the battles were a little tense. I'm saving the energy route for the battle. Since that recovers more HP at once. We just stocked up on every strain in that dispensary, you know. We got them all. Cheap ones, high-end ones, premium stuff. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what's next. I know what was next in Sapphire, at least. Well, look at this. It's a new champion, no longer Steven, and it's this slacker. Welcome, Booger! That incident in Cetopolis City, that was superb work. Putting an end to that crisis all by yourself? Oops. It wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokémon. We trainers raise Pokémon by giving them items and teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokémon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now! Who can most elegantly dance with their Pokemon in Hoenn? Show me right here or now. I will show you, Wallace. You have water tapes, don't you? He does. Holy... A level 57 Waylord is what he sends out first. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned for what that means. For what else he has. I don't want to resort to Giga Drain first since we have full HP. Let's try extra sensory since it can flinch. Look at that whaler would be deformed. Oh no, it knows a blizzard. Wow. I didn't expect it to know Blizzard. Might have to heal a tree bench or revive it later. But let's Giga Drain right now. Not enough to take it down. If it hits with another Blizzard, yep. Revenge is done. Damn. He's probably going to heal his Waylord. So he has Blizzard. May have a plan. Taught Helic in a new, new thing recently, but right away I'm gonna heal to revenge. We cannot remain unconscious for long in this battle. I knew you would do that. I wonder if he has just like only water tapes, just like he did when he was a gym leader. Anyway, Helican can shockwave. Let's see how much this does. That's right, electric pelican. A rain dance? What are you plotting? What do you think you're gonna do to a water bird? Water birds don't care if it rains. Shockwave. 
There's a little lightning in the rainstorm. Then you use Blizzard? The sequence of your attacks makes no sense. Fuck. Critical hit. How dare you. Well. Let's see if Treevenge can just giga drain it to death. Real quick. This whale lord is outstated to welcome. There we go. What a death cry. Melodic. He has a melodic. Isn't that nice? He got its beauty high enough to evolve it. Kind of want to get a Wactus Sandstorm going. Let's see if we can. Is every one of his water types going to have a nice move? That could be annoying. Level 58. Sandstorm. Oh no, you used Toxic. That's an interesting strategy. We'll allow that Toxic to sit, sit on Wactus for a turn or two. We can heal it. Easily. And I'm going to Leech Seed you. Oh, you do have Ice Beam. find it hard to hit a Wactus in a sandstorm, though. Now that we're all set up, Wactus is all comfy in its little sandstorm. We can go ahead and heal that poison. See how much this does. Could do a lot. It did do a lot. Gonna have to go ahead and use a healing item and hope it doesn't keep hitting with that. Sandstorm and Sandvale really help quite a bit to evade. Ha ha! And that's probably gonna mean you're undoing. Because now, you're gonna... You're gonna experience a needle arm whacking you out of a sandstorm, just out of nowhere. A needle arm will just emerge from the sandstorm, hit you in the face, and then you'll die. Unless I get a critical ice beam here. Bye bye, Melodic. Hehehe. <laughs> the power of Wactus. Tentacruel. Now that's one I may want to switch for. Maybe. Uh. Yeah, let's switch. Revenge. I have a plan for it. Perfect. The sandstorm subsided right when my cactern is recalled. Extra sensory, this tentacruel. I love watching. Enemy Pokemon sprites be deformed by extrasensory, it's always fun. Ow! Well, that kinda hurt. Mm. 
I could just try extra sentry again and let Drevenge maybe die. I can always heal it, revive it. Let's do it. Live dangerously. Critical hit. But it wasn't enough. But it flinched! Amazing! That was like the most effective extrasensory attack ever. Prompted him to use a full restore. Heh <laughs> Now you're gonna get extra sensory a couple more times, probably. Keep it up. No flinch, but oh well. You did well, Treevenge. I think every one of his water types does know a nice move. Do Sinfin. Sinfin has crunched on many a jellyfish. Damn it. Maybe strength would actually be better against this thing. Another Pokemon that he has no toxic. Ludicolo? Oh, I have a plan for Ludicolo. We're not intimidated by your Ludicolo dance. Your ludicrous Ludicolo dance. Because we have a poison fang attack. Oh, double theme. Back. Honestly, I'm just gonna start, like, healing other Pokemon. Who needs healing? If he's in a double team. Rastus could use a heal. Let's also heal Hulkin. Whatever. It's not the most efficient way to battle, but I think we're getting through it. Shit. Kinda of forgot about the double beam. This'll probably miss. Yeah. Ugh. We need something with faint attack. Let's get something with faint attack in here. Does his Ludicolo have any other plan? Other than use double team. We will undo your plan. Might just take a little while. Jeez. How annoying. And 
and I guess I better heal pretty soon. I can faint attack one more time. One more time at least. Wonder if he has any more full restores. He does. Uh. Just gonna also heal Wactus. Sure, go ahead and keep doing that. I'm surprised he can even use it anymore. Isn't his evasiveness like maxed out? Apparently not. He's not tired of doing that. I'm not too impressed. Champion? Are you high, Wallace? Are you high while you're battling right now? Do you just do you just get high up here? How did you become champion, you slacker? Like, there's no evidence he's done anything since he left. Suitopolis gym. There's no evidence of any productivity in his life. Yet somehow he's champion. It doesn't add up. We had to solve the weather disaster apocalypse all by ourselves. Here you get a critical hit. Well, look at that. Well, too bad. You lose. We won. And we gossiped about you while we won that little exchange. Whisk cash. You know, I think Treevenge would like to uh, absorb the essence of a whisk cash right now. Proceed with that, Treevenge. This would be good. Yum yum. Critical Giga Drain. Thanks for the feel up on HP. Oh, he's got a Gyarados. Is this his last Pokemon? He's probably gonna know a nice move. No matter. I'm gonna Leech Seed it. Level 56. It's not even his highest level highest level Pokemon. Maybe the melodic was. I think we've done this. I think we've gotten over the hardest parts of this battle. I don't think he can mount a comeback, not at this point. Let's make it impossible by using Sandstorm. I feel like all my Pokemon have pitched in to achieve this success we've had. Each of them had their moments to shine. He misses with his hyper beam. My strategy is working beautifully. You can do nothing. As Wactus drains you. And needle arms you out of the sandstorm. Oh, you finally got a hyper beam. I'll bet Wactus survives it. I was wrong. No matter. Impressive hyper beam, I'll admit. Let's let Treevenge get the final blow. That's appropriate. Hmm. 
Just a uh, faint attack. That's right, you must recharge. And you must die before that, more importantly. We did it. No more resistance stands in the way of Tree Vengeance Revenge. Now his reign of terror will begin. Pokemon. Just heartwarming. I, the champion, fall in defeat. That was wonderful work. You are elegant and very anyway so. And yet it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, booger. You're a truly noble Pokemon trainer. Pokemon you sent into battle. At times they dance like a spring breeze, and at times they struck like lightning. It was with light, yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokemon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokemon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region. Oh, for fuck's sake. I need a drink, hang on. It's him. Booger. How would you like some advice before you challenge the champion? You dipshit. Don't you know what's, always, what's transpired already? Booger. Are you trying to tell me you've beaten the champion? Oh, it's Birch. I haven't seen him in a bit. Hey, what did I tell you, Brendan? Didn't I tell you that you didn't need to worry about Booger? Booger, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father at the Petal Boy Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion. Ah, yes. What became of your Pokedex? Here, yeah, let me see. Mm <laughs> hmm. So you've seen. Let me get this straight. You've seen 145 Pokemon and you've caught 14 Pokemon. I guess you're getting the hang of it. But it gets harder from here. Anyways, congratulations. Now go proudly into the final room. Booger! Now let me rephrase that properly. The new champion! Come with me. I'm sorry, but... From here on, only those trainers who become champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. <laughs> It can't be helped if that's the rule. Booger, way to go. Congratulations. This room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. It is here that the League champions are honored. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of the partners who battled with you. Sure, let's do that. Record their names for all history, especially Treevenge, which will become the new leader of this place, this region. The ruler. That's your new emperor, Hoenn. Look upon him well. These are his vassals and like chief. This is this is like these are like his chief servants. Look at them. Beautiful. They're so amazing. I love you. 
I love you, Bake Snake. I love you, Rachtus. I love you, Hurricane. I love you, Koto. I love you, Revenge. I love you, Sinfin. <laughs> and we beat it. Beat the game in under 40 hours. Look at that. That's a little fast for me, I think. Typically in a Pokemon game. Wow. We did it. Beat Pokemon Emerald version for the first time. I gotta say, I'm kind of blown away. I already loved Sapphire quite a bit. And... Oh! Fucking cast form. I have... They can't just show cast form. Jeez. They, they shouldn't be putting that up. What was I saying? Yeah, I really loved Emerald. I loved this game. All the changes added up to just make it... superb. Like, Sapphire was great, and this just takes it to the next level. I like that there are more trainers with generally higher level Pokemon. That extra challenge is great. More shenanigans with Team Magma. Like both Aqua and Magma. The drama with the legendary Pokemon plays out differently, and I really like that, and the way it plays out. Also, the ability to have rematches with other with the trainers you've fought already, that's an awesome addition. Like that's one I really appreciate. We didn't even get to rematch the gym leaders. I'm guessing maybe they become rematchable after you're in the Hall of Fame? I don't know though. But it's a great feature that Sapphire didn't have. I haven't seen it since the Gen 2 Pokemon games, I think, where you could call people up and rematch them. The original Gen 2 Pokemon games, Silver, Gold, Crystal. It's just such a good feature because it makes it more immersive. It makes the Pokemon world more immersive. If the trainers you fight don't just get defeated once and then they're done forever, you know, they actually keep training and get stronger. It's cool to come back to them and see if, see if their Pokemon evolved. You can roleplay more that way. Like you have relationships with these trainers that last over time. The end. And the game must have, like, some post-game stuff. It could also be done. But... I was mainly concerned about beating the game. I may look into the other things to do. Now that I've... given Tree Vengeance status of predominance over all life in Hoenn. Maybe I'll record it, maybe I won't. Whatever suits me. But the one thing I'll say is, this game's awesome, and I love Pokemon. And this episode's gone on too long. I hope anybody who's watched this series this playthrough had a good time, had a laugh or two, because I had a blast playing it. Way more fun than I would have if I didn't record these episodes and put effort into editing them. This was the most fun I've had playing a game in a good while. 